Okay, so one second. Uh, last time we installed the Expo app, this is Expo, we installed that one. And there is another method called as React Native CLI, which we will do later after a few weeks. So with the Expo, there are a few applications you cannot build. For that, you need the React Native. So ultimately, our goal is to uh, do the application in the React Native, not the Expo. So for uh, for initial learning point and making few apps, Expo is good. But if you want to take the full opportunity, full uh, use of the React Native, then we need to use the React Native CLI, which we will do it later after a few weeks. So we install the Expo Go, and we will work more on it today. So let's start with this one. So we installed one awesome project. We'll be working on that one. So if I have to run this application, uh, I'll run this application and then we'll go on change, doing changes in this application. So let me, okay, so what are the steps we have to do? We have to we have to go inside the project and then it will run this command. So is everyone completed with the step? This awesome project and created the merge request. Let me check the merge request and merge whatever is needed. Okay, so we have so many merge requests. Let's go one by one and quickly finish it. So this Nitesh has created, but I don't see any changes. So I cannot merge this request. So there should be some changes. So Nitesh has done, created the Nitesh intro, but I don't see any file or any changes here in this merge request. So I cannot, I cannot work, merge it. Let's check another one. Okay, so like this, you see awesome project is there in the folder Divya G, React Native. So we have the awesome project. So I can, I can mark this one. Next, let's see next one. Oh, there. So there is also changes. There is a folder and in that, this is a React Native. Okay, so this is also good. Day one, let me merge this. Okay, next is Sonu Singh. So you will see folder Sonu with this. I see things are good. So I'll merge this one also. So once I merge it, it will be inside the main branch. And whenever I will create a new branch now from the main, it will have all the changes. Now this is what okay, I created this one. Okay, so let's create this for oh, this one. Folder is RAM, and I see all the files. So let's merge it. Hmm. So let's check this one. So we have, who is this uh, Sai Shankar? So this is this is the case, you know, I don't want to merge this one. So the user is Chalindram Sai Shankar and he has done the changes in the Anand folder, in the Gayatri folder, in the Manish folder, in the Sai folder, so this will not go because you have to only work in your folder. You cannot do the changes in the Manish or Gayatri or Anand folder, right? So I will not 
take these changes and you have to create a new merge request with changes only inside your folder not the folder on Gayatri or Anand okay so this merge will be deleted I don't need this one so where is that one mm. How to how to delete this close merge request? Okay, I'll close this merge request. I don't need. Okay, who is is it uh, here? I don't know if he is here. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, so I close it. I'm not taking. You are there. You are the person. Hello. Yeah, it is Sanjay. Sanjay S J. Okay, who who did the changes which I just now made? Okay, you are the S J. Okay, let's see the S J one. Okay, so you created Sanjay folder and yeah, so it's good. You can only work in your in your folder okay okay next is Nitro Nitesh okay there are 12 changes so Nitesh or some project okay so generally I want to ask why package lock is outside also and inside also so there is some problem with this file so you know, I I think you have to delete this file. It should be only inside the awesome project, not outside here. Okay, but I'm merging it. You can fix it in the next one. Okay, so all merge requests are done. So whatever changes I will do today, I will create a new branch for it, and I'll show you what I'm doing now. So since we merge a lot of uh, branches, now for today I will do like this I will create a new branch for today's work what is today's date two zero two three zero six and date is 24 for me create a new branch for today's work how to create a branch we will say git checkout minus B and the branch name so this is how we create a new branch okay so before also doing this I had to I have to go to my root folder this is my root folder and I will say I will I will check out the main branch so let's say git branch so this is the main branch so I will say git check out main Okay, it's saying that your readme is having a uh, edit, so I cannot do this. So let me, okay, let me do this one. So before I move further, I want everyone to follow this step. First, in your repo, in your terminal, just say git checkout develop. So that, no, sorry, git checkout main because main is our main branch okay somehow someone changed this readme file okay someone changed the readme file I don't want anyone to change this readme file let's see who did that I did initial commit okay maybe I didn't committed this in my branch okay let's check this one okay Okay, let me commit this one.
Okay, let me do something. Okay, you don't have to follow the step which I'm doing right now. I'll tell you what to do. Let me first fix this part. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I got it now. Maybe I didn't run the git pull and that's the reason it is sorry. Now when I move to git main and I did git pull, you will see a lot of things are coming. All the folders are coming like this. Okay, so let's try to follow the steps for today. So now everyone follow the step which I am just telling you now. First, what you do, do the git status, make sure, make sure there is no file to edit, okay? So I will do it here. Go and do it along with me. So you will see, I have modified version of readme file. So you should not have this one, okay? Nothing should be changed. For me, it is changed. So this change is not needed. Okay, if change is there, then there is some problem. We need to fix it. Okay, first you have to do get status, and once get status is good, you have to check out the main branch. So do the get checkout main branch, and then say git pull. After you do git pull, let me know if everything looks good. After git status, nothing should be there. No file should be there to, to be committed. And then you do git checkout main and then git pull. After this three step, let me know if everything is looks good. You see all the folders. Let me know once you are done with this stuff. Uh, sir, it's showing nothing added to commit, but untracked files present. Yeah, so untracked file, why untracked file is there? You didn't commit it in your branch when you created merge request? No, I, I committed already. Gayatri. What is your name? Gayatri? Oh, yes, what, what is your name? Gayatri. Okay, let me give you the presenter or you share your screen. Okay, so you have React Native or some. Okay, why? Uh, just to get status first. Git branch to the git branch. Okay, so you are inside the main branch. Just uh, remove the Gayatri folder. Let's see if you have didn't. Yeah, you have permitted the Gayatri one, right? So just delete this Gayatri folder. Yeah, delete it. Sometimes it will ask you permission. Maybe it doesn't allow, so it will ask you permission. Yeah, uh, maybe you don't have, yeah, you have to put your password. Which password you are putting? This should be your Windows password. Okay, just uh, close the cross, uh, just click the cross button, delete permanently, let's see what it's saying. Oh, 
okay so do yeah please delete this also can you delete this sky three okay now do git pull No, no, not here. Okay, what are you saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, you have to say, press enter to confirm. Okay, it's asking password. So, did you, did you create the access one? You go to your GitLab account. and go to your, your username, click the preferences, click the access token on the left side, access tokens. So you have created anything, go down. Do you remember the access token which you created? Do you save it? Remember or no? Forgot where you kept it. Yeah, copy this one. You have to put this as a password. Okay, now try again. Git pull. Put your username. The first one is to give a username. Yeah, this is a... Yeah. No, no, this is the username not the email. You have to put username of the GitLab. What is username of the GitLab? Yeah, this one. And password will just now copy you. Yeah, so now you got all the code, right? Yeah, now follow the step which I will show you. Okay. Now I have to create a new branch, right? Yeah, I'll show you. Let me show you one. Okay. Thank you, sir. So now what you have to do? Now you have to you have to create a new branch. After you do git pull, you will see all the folders. Now you have to do the create a new branch so i will also do this one so let me do this one get checkout minus p minus p is for creating a new branch and you have to give that today's branch name so maybe i can say june 24 okay mk i will put mk because otherwise everyone will create june 24 it will give problem give some prefix based on your name and I'll say June 24. Okay, so once I say git checkout June 24, and if I do git branch, you will see a branch is created, mk June 24. And if I do git status, readme is the file which I changed just now, and that's why you see readme here. So let me know once you do this step. Say done in the chat so we can go further.
Okay, Sanjay done. Let's create a new branch. And then let's go. Now, remember, since everyone is doing, remember you have to work in your folder only. If your name is Anand, you can only work in Anand folder. Don't work in Divya or Gayatri folder. So, I will go in my folder only and I will see the package.json. You will see expose install, expose status bar install, react and react native. Right now, these four things are installed in our application. Now, we will we will run this application and then I will show you what new changes we will be doing today. So let's go to my folder. I will say awesome and open integrated in open integrated terminal. I will be inside my project, awesome project. And then I'll say how to start the project. I've written here in the readme file. You have to say yarn export start. Or if you are using NPM, so there is uh, for NPM, there is another command. You can check the document. If you don't know, let me know. I'll check for you. So once I say yarn run export start, my application will start and I can see my application in my phone. Now I will, ex uh, I will open expo go in my phone and scan this QR code. And make sure you are in the same network. Your phone and computer should have should be in the same network, same Wi-Fi network. Okay, once I open in the app, I will show you how it looks. Let me start the video. Here I'll work, here I will see what how app will look. One second, let me see. Okay, so this is the app I can see in my mobile. This is my real mobile. I am copying the I am copying my mobile content here on this screen. Okay, so you will see like this. Let me know when you reach this point. You can see this one and then we can start working. So let me know when you run the yarn, run expo, and you can see the same app which I am able to see here. I have some problem. So Kate, last time your expo was not uh, installing. Is it there or is still the same problem is there? Hello, Kate? Good. Yeah, installing is good now. No, so okay, what problem you have now? Uh, can you see my screen? Yeah, let me share. Let me give you permission. Show your screen. Yeah, you have pasted something, right? Anand. Yes, sir. <laughs> I will come back to you, Anand. Let me first see. Can you share your skin, Kate? Yeah, it's just on this. I'll, I'll turn on. Okay. System not allowed. Why? Let me see. Yeah, check, check why you are not able to. Okay, by the time I'll check the Anand one. Anand, you get the check the presenter role. Show me your screen. Okay, so you have to go inside the awesome project. You are inside Anand project. 
no anand anand i am talking about anand anand you have to go inside awesome project cd 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 react native yeah then awesome project then you have to run the expo yeah run now so always remember you have to go inside the project and then run yeah now scan this qr in your phone make sure in the same wifi your phone and computer let me know if it works okay uh, he will try kit yeah okay. you show show your screen okay what is your problem oh so i have awesome project right yeah mm, i do i have app.js yeah yeah just say npx expo start let's see what it shows yeah native so what happened yesterday you fixed the expo right why is saying again you said you fixed it right it was working yeah i think this is is it your company laptop or your laptop this one is my mm -hmm. it's my your own yeah but then what what happened how you fixed this expo part oh, i didn't fix it i, I thought i fixed it yeah. okay can you do uh, you know lisa said that we will sit separately okay sure. so just do google after this class so maybe next class before you jump in if you still have problem we'll fix it first your problem and then will work okay because i have to finish something right now just watch the video later and do the exercise okay okay let me anand uh, is it working now yes sir okay okay so now we will start uh, quickly two things i have to show you today we have to go quickly otherwise a lot of time will be wasted on this one okay so first thing which we will do is first thing number 1 is create a component and call it inside my app dot js okay so like we create one component we call it because we will be creating multiple child components so we should know how to call it in the parent component many of the people who have done react already they know that but those who are new for them i will repeat this exercise so how to create a component and call it in app.js second thing which we will do is navigation so we will be having let's say five or 10 components we have to navigate from one component to another because we cannot stick on the one page we have to go to one page to another page another page to another page like this so we will be integrating navigation in our app so let's try to create a new component and it's called inside my app.js so this is my awesome project i will create a new folder called as source src all my components will be inside my source folder and inside source folder i will create one file called as home dot home dot js this will be the file which i will call inside the app dot js here i will create a component to create component quickly i can type r n f e s when i say r n f e s it will create automatically a component for me and it's saying home component and i will call this home component in my app.js so i'll go to app.js here i will say import home as soon as i type ho i will see home is displayed here i will click the home so home is imported from source home folder and i i will call this home component here anywhere in my application 
So once I click home, you will see the home is displayed in my mobile. Open up app.js to start working on your app and then there is a home because in my home I have the text of home. So what I did, I created a component home.js and called it, imported it in my app.js and displayed that home component here. This is a small exercise, just do it quickly. In two minutes, let me know once it is done. So I'll move to navigation after this. Let me write down what to do here. Create a folder SRP and create a new file home.js inside SRC. Write following content in that file. What is the content? This is the content. Okay, this is the content I write in that file. Now import this home.js file inside app.js as follows. I'll go to app.js. I will call import and then I will use this home. Use this home as component as follows. Okay, just call this one. Okay, this is the exercise which we do. What I'll do, I'll create a I'll create a folder of txt files. So whatever every day I'll do, I will put it here. So for example I'll create a new file for today's date 2023 dot txt so I will put whatever I shown today I will put it there okay let's put it here so what we did we created a new file and we we called it in the app.js and displayed it here okay so I hope you have completed this exercise. Let's go to another one, navigation part. So next thing is we have to do navigation. So we will be creating multiple components and we have to go from one component to another and for that we need the navigation. So let's see how to do navigation. So I will go to one website and we will, we will try to see the commands which are needed for navigation. So this is the React navigation. We we'll go to Docs in the Get Started. We'll see what to do. So first thing it's saying install this yarn. So let me add this one yarn add React navigation native. Okay, I'll do Control C. I'll paste first line. Install following command. So you should also go to that website. What is the website? This is the website. I'll give you this website in the chat. Okay, go to this website. Copy the first command here, this one. Okay, this is the first one. We have to add it. Let's try to another one. So now, if you are building your application with Expo, you have to copy this line. But if you're building your application using React Native CLI, you have to copy this line of the code. So right now I am doing Expo, so we have to install this Expo, this line. Okay, next line will be for Expo. It's this line, and if it is non-Expo, React, if it is React Native project, we have to use this line. Since we are doing Expo, I will copy this line. Okay, I did this one. Let's see what next. Next is 
Okay, we are done with this page. Let's go to the let's go to the stack one. This is the stack one, stack navigator, which we will be working first. So in the stack navigator, you say you see they have told us to install this line. So let me go and put it. Okay, what command I have to put? This one. Let me run this command. Okay, I completed this one. Now let's see what next. One second. Let me double check if I have installed everything. One second, let me double check. Okay, we have the stack one. Let's double check uh, if everything is done or more. Okay, now next is, after this, you will see, if we have the expo, I have to install this line. Okay, let's install this one. Okay, let's start this one. So we'll put all React Native part below. And all the websites above. Okay. Okay, after this, let's see what to install. I will give you in Telegram also, but uh, right now I'm doing it with this one. And if you are using bare React Native, you have to use this command. We will be doing bare React Native after a few days, so we should have that handy. Now, we have to put this line of statement inside app.js or index.js. So let's take this line of statement and put it in my app.js at the top. Okay, so let me write down here. At the top of app.js, add following line. Once I'm done with all step, I'll give you the chat. Okay, we have to put this one. Now what it's saying? Optionally, you can also install this one. So we have to install this part also Let's install for this expo. Okay, so for expo, for this expo, we will install this one. And for for React Native, we will install this one. Okay, now what? Okay, so we are done with. Uh, all the installation, I'll double check the thing, but before I double check, I'll I'll give you all this one. Let me give you this commands. Okay, let me give you in the telegram. Also the chat here in the chat. Okay, so now let me double check if everything is installed. I'll go to package and compare if everything is installed. So one is the mask view, this is good. Native, good native stack, and this is stack, good. Gesture handler, safe area content, and native skin. Now I will run the my app and I will see if I get problem, I will try to add few more uh, modules. Let's see if everything is working now or I need to add more modules. So let's run again. What is the command to run? I forgot. What is that command? The readme. Yarn expo start. Let's see. Yeah, it's showing this one. Let me run this again. 
scan this one. Okay, so this is working. Here home is working. Let me try to see, change the name and see if it is reflecting. I don't see it reflecting here. Let me restart. And by pressing R, I can restart. And I'll check it again. Now it's saying home one. Let's change it to two. Now it's changing. So I think looks good. And all these commands works nicely right now. And we'll try to integrate the navigation now. Let me know once you're done with all the steps. Uh, sir, I have one doubt. Yeah, what happened? Uh, sir, inside HomeJS, how can we add the content using that short key method, RFC? Okay, so to create a shortcut, we use this command. R N F R N F E S. Okay. And for that, for that, you need to have this extension installed. Which extension? This one. Is it installed? This one? No, sir. So you have to install this one. Let me let me see. I can give you copy. Let's see if I can paste. Okay. Yeah, just search for ES7 React. You will see. Okay. ES7. By another. Yeah, this one. By these S Nasdar. Okay, you have to use this application. You have to find this one. Let me give you in the chat. So if you have this extension, then once you go to any component, and if you try RNFES, you will be able to see everything is done automatically. Okay, let me know when you are done with all the steps. all these steps and then we can proceed. Your voice is very low. Can you speak loudly? Yes, sir. I'm saying that can you give me a software in which you installed in Nasdaq? Yeah, I'm still not clear on your voice. You have to speak loud. Uh, it's clear now? Yeah, it's clear now. Uh, sir, I'm saying, uh, can you tell me the software name which you have installed in last class for uh, mobile view in desktop? Okay, yeah. So it is called, uh, it's called the visor. V Y S O R, and then I have a USB. I connect my computer to USB to my phone. It can do Wi-Fi also, but uh, it was giving some problem in the Wi-Fi, so I use the wire to connect it. And in the developer options, so in the phone there is a developer options. I will show you that developer options. One second. Let me show you the developer options. So do you see this machine and in the developer options in the about phone? Okay, where is the developer options? Yeah, these developer options. I have to I have to enable few things like USB debugging. You know, do you see this developer option? This is complicated to start the developer option. So you know, you have to go to about phone and you have to click the some multiple thing. times. Yeah, multiple times. Some model number or something you have to click. In in each one there is a different you have to find out how to enable that developer options. And once the developer options is enabled, you can put USB debugging on. And then when you connect with your wire to your phone, it will come here. Okay.
Okay, this is my app. Let's see. It's not coming here. Let's restart. Sometimes it, it doesn't refresh. You have to press R here in command line in terminal. So it will update it. Okay, Let me know when it's done. That's why yeah. it's not updating actually on mobile. Yeah. yeah, so just click, go to terminal, press the R button, it will reload. Okay, is this all steps done? I want two people to say yes. At least two people should. Sanjay saying yes. And who else? Gayatri saying yes. Okay. So rest of the people can do slowly as per your speed. <coughs> okay. Now, I added this import React Native Gesture in the top here. Now, what I'll do, I will, I will change this app code to call home.js or any other component uh, like a pagination from one page to another page. We can go. So for that, let's create a couple of components. And once we have the lot of components, we can go from one component to another component. So in the source folder, I'll create a new project, new folder, sorry. Pro folder name will be project 0001. I'm expecting to do 10,000 project. If, if uh, we mean small, small project, learning project, if possible. I may not reach that goal, but this is the expectation. So I put 0001 so that I can go till 999. And here I will create a new file called as project1.js. And I will just put dummy command rnfes for project1. Let's create another folder, project0002. And here inside that folder, I'll create a new file, project 2.js and I'll click put the dummy text rnfes so we have now three component one is called home component one is called project one component one is called project two there will be many more coming here but right now we have to deal with this three and see how to go from home component to project one to project two back to home something like that so that's what we are trying to do it now so first thing in the app.js, I have to import all the projects, all the components, which I have to go from one page to another one. So one of them is import home. I created this import home. Second one, I will import project one. Third one, I will import project two. So all the components which I want to navigate, I will call it in app.js. Now, I will call import few default statement for navigation. What statement I have to call? One is called as import. I will put something here from React Native, React Navigation Native. I will call from React Navigation Native. And what I want to call from here? Navigation Container. Okay, so this is the first line. We have to import it. And second line which we have to import is import again I'll put curly bracket from React Native stack. And what I want to call from the stack? Create stack navigator. This is a create stack navigator. So these two things are needed for navigation purpose. Now I will I will use them. Let's let's use for this create nav stack navigator navigator. I will say constant stack equal to create stack navigator. So this create navigator is called here as a stack. And inside my app I will delete all this view and I will say I will call this navigation container navigation container so this navigation container is the top level and inside that I will call the stack dot navigator you don't have to remember this just you have to copy write down and uh, copy paste it kind of thing 
Okay, I call the Stack Navigator. And inside Stack Navigator, I will call Stack dot screen, and I will name something, whatever name you want to give. For example, I'll give name Home. And which component to call? We have to call this Home component, this Home. And then I will close it. So one of my page is home. I create a stack dot screen with the home one, and I'll copy it multiple times. And in the second one, I will say project one. And in the third one, I will say project two. So right now we have three screens and three stack dot screen. First one is the home, which is will be called default, and other two will be called whenever we call it purposely. We will manually call it through JavaScript. Okay, so if you see home four is called by default because that is the one home one first one is automatically called as home four. And this home four is there in my home. So this one is called by default home. And this project one and project two will be called when we will write some code and navigate to that project. Okay. So before I go further, let me clean this file. Okay, so this is my file. Let me give you in the Telegram and in chat also. Let me give you in the chat also. So you don't, I just uh, went through the things. We can go and copy from the document also. If you go here, you will see navigator container is here. And if I go to stack one, you will see they have the code here. You can copy it from here also. So it depends on where you can write it or you can copy it from this documentation. Okay, let me know when this is done so we can go further and call from home the project one and project two. So we'll go to home and then we will create a button. Button will go to project one or project two depending on where we want to go. I'll give you two minutes to finish this. Sir, what can be the output? Output for what? The screen. You see my screen? Okay, okay. thank you. This is my mobile, and I'm able to see right now home four because I have my text at home is home four. And this is the home is the title. This title comes from this home. We can change this also to something different one, but right now I will not do that because today's main task is to go from one screen to another, not to change this part. No one has completed yet. But my main home is in the center. Okay, if it's in your center, maybe there is some style sheet there. So, so it's okay. No worries. Mm -hmm. At least you should see home. Yeah, because some some people have the style sheet already created by default uh, in their code or somewhere at the high level, and that's the reason it may be at the center. So no worry about that. 
will check all the code later but let's see if this is working home for each everyone should see the home and you should create this two folder project one project two project one dot js project two dot js Why is taking time? I need two people to at least complete this exercise now. And no one has completed yet. Okay, Kate, you're done, but you're not able to see, right? Because yeah. your expo is yeah. not working, right? Okay. So make sure you fix this expo in a couple of days. Sure. Okay, try Google it, and otherwise, uh, I have to also see why what's happening. Okay. Okay. Any any other Gayatri done? Okay. So so now what we will do? We will create couple of buttons here and if I click the first button it will go to project 1 if I click the second button it will go to project 2 now let's see how to create the buttons so I, I'll go to official document and then I'll go let me go to components and here I'll go to button so this is the button so to call the button we need the button at the top in the import statement so let's import a button first I'll go to my home.js import the button and here I will call the button which is the button let's take one of the button and let put here so on place of button so in on the website we have on click but in the world of the mobile react native we have the on press so it's saying color of the button is this one I don't like this color let's see we have another color yeah let's see yeah this color mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let's see which color we take okay let's take this left button color okay let's take another color what what is the color is coming if I remove the color part what happens okay yeah then default one is good one second okay default one press me is good I'll delete this text for now okay I just put buttons lot of buttons or I'll put this button inside the view so that I can give some control on the view, view is like a div so on the website we create div here in the mobile world we have to use the view so let's give some style sheet style equal to margin top 
10. So it's give some margin at the top. Let's keep 20. Okay, so we top. So this is the first button I created it. I will name it as project one. So this one will go to project one. And I will create copy this one and create another one. And this one will go to project two. And let's give this 10 margin top. So when I click the project one, it will go to project one component. When I click project two, it will go to project two component. So I have to type something to let user go to project one or project two. Okay, so let's do that. So when, when we when we introduce this navigation part, in this home component by default will get one com one props that is called as navigation. Okay, what it will get? Navigation. And this navigation will be used to go to another component. So how to go to another component? I will say navigation dot navigate and navigate to project one. I have to write down navigation or navigate and where I have to go project one. Project one is defined here, this name. Whatever name I have given here, it should match with this one. And if it doesn't match, it will not go. Same thing with the second one, I will say navigation to project two. Okay, now if I click project one, you will see I am in the project one folder and there's a back arrow automatically created here. I can click it back if I am at the home one. And if I click project two, I get project two this arrow and I click the back button, I'm here. I can also click this back button of the mobile, depend on what I want, project one, I click this one, I'm here. Okay, so there are two things here. So just grab this navigation and write on this button. Let me give you this component in Telegram. If you want to, if you are a little lazy, you don't want to type, you can copy paste also. In a programming world, everyone is lazy, right? So it's good to be lazy. So you can copy paste and don't do any mistakes. So just try to understand that we have to pass this as a props and then on press, on the website we use on click, but on the web mobile we have to use on press and we say navigation or navigate. We have to navigate to where? We have to navigate to whatever component we want to navigate. Okay, just do this and let me know if it works.
Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yes, sir. Okay, my computer got shut off suddenly. And uh, takes time to load. One second, let me share my screen again. Same time. Okay. So let's start. Continue for where we left. So let me go to terminal and. I'll start yarn, expose start. Okay, let's see one more time. Have you completed till what I showed you? Is everyone done all this project? Okay, I'm on thing. Sanjay saying yes, okay. Let's finish it and then I'll commit it and then we'll I'll second let it start. Uh, sir, for me, you are not audible. Okay, I'm not audible. Can you can you hear me now? Uh, no, I can hear. What's happening? Hello, hello. I can hear you. I can also, sir. Yeah, you are okay. audible, sir. I don't know, maybe some problem with uh, her. Okay, let's see. Okay, maybe you can walk through the video after this one. Okay, let's start this one. Okay, so let's run it, walk through it again, and then we'll commit the code and everyone create the merge request. Oh, this one is taking time. It's taking 61 only. Seventy three, seventy seven, okay, done. I go project one, I got project two, so it's working. So we see the navigation, and this navigation will be used in all our apps, whatever apps we will be building. This navigation will be used, and hopefully, you have also completed this project. So let's try now and commit the files. I will come out of this one. Okay, let's go to the root level. I will say check everything. Git branch. I am at my new branch, today's branch. Git status. So whatever file I have created will be here and whatever I file I modified are here. So let's do git to add all these files. First I have to do git add. I'll do git add. Now all files are added. Now I'll do git commit. Uh, what we did, navigation and calling child component. Okay, I remember I will only work in my folder. You will also work in your folder so that everyone is free to work in their folder and then I'll do git push. 
So once I do git push, this is the new branch I created. So it's asking me to use this one. I'll use git, git mk git push setup stream origin mk june 24. Now it's there. Now I'll create the merge request by clicking here. So merge request is I will put both my name and create the merge request. Okay, so and I'll also merge it. Okay, I can see the changes here. What I did the changes, you will see I only worked it by folder, and all these changes are done by me today. Okay, now let's go to overview, merge it. Okay, so this is merged. Let's go to branches and delete some of the branch because I created one. I created one unnecessary branch. I need to delete that. Okay, this intro to I need to delete this branch. Where is the delete command? How can I give, where are the branches? Let's see. Okay, I'll I'll delete this branch later. Let me find it where exactly it is. Sometimes it's not clearly visible. I need to find it. Okay, so in any questions of what we did? Any any questions? Because we are done with the navigation and we are done with the uh, we are done with the navigation part. Next time we'll start working something inside the inside the app. Some more things. Okay.